this is Living Dead Gal, and welcome back to another Sims 4 video. Uh, welcome to the channel. If you are new, today we are doing episode 3 of the Whimsy Stories Legacy Challenge. We are back with our girl Riley. She is not looking so great. She uh, has some bathroom issues, she's filthy, she's got a stomach bug, the bush is revolting to her that she's using, and she is stuffed up from her allergies and she also has some disgusting teeth and some dark circles under her eyes from lack of sleep so we are not in great shape i am gonna jump right in and put her to bed um but just to kind of uh get started um Welcome back to the series if you've been watching along. If you are new, um, I will put a link in the description below uh, to the previous episode so that you can get caught up. But we are doing the Whimsy Stories Legacy Challenge, and for this first gen, we are essentially um, homeless until we find love. And then once we find love, we will be building a tiny home uh, up from scratch. So right now, Riley is um, currently just in like camping out an empty lot. We were able to make some money from dumpster diving. So um, I was able to get her a few items. So originally we started with just a tent. Now we've got a bush and we've got a shower. Um, unfortunately, I need to, uh, because I use a mod that is the, it's like the bills, the SNB bills mod. I cannot actually get water set up yet until I have enough money to pay for that setup. So we are going to have to do some more dumpster diving with her so that we can get some money. But we at least have a fire so that we can cook some of the fish that she caught. We also found a bike in the dumpster. So we have that to travel on. But unfortunately, a glitch happened where it's not showing the bike as mine. So it's sadly just kind of sitting on the edge here. We're going to try to do a little bit of grinding today on money. And then we're also going to see if we can invite... Um, um, our friend Jack to maybe hang out maybe we'll have dinner together or maybe we'll take him out to dinner um, we met Jack uh, in the very first episode and then last episode we went on a little fishing date with him we still don't know a whole lot about him other than that he is in the same situation as us he is homeless um, he has no family no friends no romantic relationships oh great and it's pouring down rain well this is just fantastic uh, yeah I'm so, oh, I'm so sorry, Riley. Oh, run inside. Where are you going to run? Smoky. Tents are rather flammable. Being in one that's on fire is not advised. What do you mean your tent is on fire? Did lightning just strike? That was too close from being near a lightning strike. Riley narrowly avoided being struck by lightning. Standing outside in a thunderstorm could be very dangerous. What? Okay. I can't. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the tent. And. Oh no. Okay, so she's gonna go grab an alcoholic beverage. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's like, okay, it is time for a drink. Um. Can you. T you can't take a shower because you don't. Okay, I have no idea how she's taking a shower right now because. Turn off utility. I don't think I set up her bills, but somehow it's working. Okay. Uh, we're just gonna roll with that um and my tent is now destroyed are you kidding me oh no oh guys our tent is on f oh no so we get a working shower but now our tent has been struck by lightning this poor girl is cursed I mean, I can't even get through, like, the intro and kind of recapping last episode before we have something bad happen. Oh, I'm so sorry, Riley. Uh, at least our plants are growing. I might need to get her to travel so that we can get somewhere safe. Because uh, I can't really be having my founder die. Or what's she doing? Okay, she's harvesting stuff on her own. I'll let her do that. Then maybe we will run to our favorite little restaurant um, and get something to eat there. Because we have a tiny bit of money. Okay guys, so uh, <laughs> I was gonna have her go get breakfast, but she ended up like pulling um, a snack out of the cooler, which cost us $7 um, before I was, <laughs> she's running, before I was actually able to get her uh, to the, the diner to eat. So what we're going to do is she is going to come here to the makerspace and chat with her client um, and we're gonna work on her assignment and I'll just have her eat the snack that she has. Um, 
But what I was trying to say before we got interrupted by all of the disaster is that uh, I really am going to try to work on spending- having Riley spend some time with- Oh, look, look at her fist. <laughs> I'm gonna have her work on trying to spend some time with Jack because that's gonna be really important um, to the story. Uh, I did make Jack especially for her. She does perceive him as attractive. They're still just their acquaintances, um, but they do have a lot in common and I do need to find her a soulmate before I can build her a home. Uh, let's chat with Lilith Pleasant too, because we need some more influence points. Mm. Riley thinks Lilith is distant and Lilith thinks Riley is a nature maniac. Okay, well, that that didn't go so great. Let's introduce ourselves to this lady. She looks cute. Oh, man, no one likes Riley. This happened in the first episode, too. Alina, uh, she thinks that Alina is pretentious and Alina has an anti-crush sentiment with Riley. I'm really hoping to try and find Riley a best friend because uh, with my Sims a lot of- Ooh, he is cute. I mean, I'm still team Jack, but hello. Oh wow, okay, that's cute. Um, his first impression of Riley is that she's fun to be around and her first impression of him is that he's funny and she perceives him as very attractive. Okay, he's really, really cute. I mean, I made Jack for her, but Edison is very cute. Um, I should probably stay away. Um, <laughs> Riley's gonna go take a panicked poop. Okay, I'm gonna let her do that and hope that helps with her being afraid. Um, yeah, her skin is really bad right now, but honestly, I don't know if we want to buy the treatment yet. Um, just because I feel like it's kind of realistic that this is what would be happening <laughs> to her. <laughs> oh. Um, at this point in time, um, so maybe if I can find something good in the dumpster and get a little more money than $29, I can get her some skin masks. But I also need to get her to a doctor for her allergies, and we have no money for that either. So yeah, we need to work on this assignment to try to get us some money and so that we can also get our fabrication skill up. So we need to make this rug for our client. Okay, let's fabricate. We need to do a fabricated rug. We're going to do a plain one right now because we don't really have money for dyes. We finally have acquired the fabrication skill. Look at Riley go, guys. She's so cute. See, she instantly, like, she really does bounce back. She's instantly inspired after, I mean, she's still kind of embarrassed because of her massive breakout. But see, everything is fine from extroverted thinking. No matter what happens, everything is going to be all right. Oh, and the hot guy is mentoring us. Oh, he's really cute. This game is tempting me right now. Let's go ahead and send this rug. Dashing. This is exactly what we were looking for. Keep up the great work, Riley. Okay, did I get paid? Where's my money? I feel so safe in my shower now that I could dance in the shower. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, great. So we have that. So um, I'm going to have her do another gig um, just because we really do need to build this skill up. Okay, unfortunately, right now there's no gigs that I can do at my current level, which is super weird. Um, so let's just, oh man, Tina, did you repair the stove? I was going to do that. Fine. Okay. Let's just keep working on fabricating stuff. Um, let's go ahead and make some upgrade parts so that we can do some handiness, uh, later on. Corporate sellout from going to work. Riley used to believe in a world where Sims didn't have to work for simoleons, but then her freegan beliefs were abandoned in favor of a steady paycheck. <laughs> Riley, it's just freelancing. You're not working for a corporate company. You're okay. <laughs> oh, she's gonna get tense every time I have her like earn money, but I mean, what can we do, you know? Let's give her a one-time treatment. <laughs> oh. <laughs> why are you wearing, why did you change into your pajamas and now you're covered in, Riley, uh, girl. She's in her pajamas now, and she is covered in paint. What? <laughs> Riley, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, that was such a fail. Um, okay, I think she might be too uncomfortable at this point. Oh, she is a mess. People are looking at her like, um... <laughs> oh, girl. 
things are just things are just not going well for poor Riley today. She has a massive breakout. Um, so our skin treatment didn't even work that I paid for because she instantly like got hit with the dye. Uh, <laughs> oh, things are just not going well. It's okay though, you know. You bounce back. We can only go up from here, right, Riley? <laughs> okay. Hopefully she'll find some good stuff. Because we, like, desperately, desperately need it. <laughs> Girl is covered in paint. <laughs> Let's go home. Because we can't even afford to replace our tent right now. We're supposed to be making money. And now we can't even afford to replace our tent. So we're gonna have nothing. Oh, there's your food. Okay, eat your choco flakes that you left on the ground here. Since we paid for that. Sell the soybeans. Okay, that gave us some money. Raspberry, I can't remember. Oh, what did you do? Are you lighting yourself on fire? Okay, be careful, please. You are the founder. We need, we need an heir before you can do anything crazy like that. Of course, as soon as I get back to our lot, it's raining again. Are you joking? Oh, we are just... We are just not having any luck right now at all. So, okay. I'm gonna let her eat that marshmallow. Okay, she's pretty happy. <laughs> she's really cute. Okay, let's uh, extinguish the fire and then let's go back to... This rain would have been helpful, I don't know, when we didn't have a shower and we needed rain to shower in, but that's fine. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna get her to do some candle making and then maybe I can rummage through this trash can. I mean, we almost have enough money to replace the tent, which is just unfortunate. Oh gosh. Oh, she burned herself. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Riley. Oh no, she has a sore throat. She's getting sick from the weather. Become sick in 24 hours? Are you joking me, game? Are you joking me? Now she's sick. Oh my god. And we don't even have a tent to sleep in. And all the money we're making today is gonna go to replace that tent. This is... <sighs> this is just not going well for my poor girl. Okay, let's make another candle. Because we just... We need to keep making stuff. Because we gotta get this skill up. Man, she is just having the worst luck, but she has a great attitude for someone with such bad luck. She's really happy from that marshmallow. It's like it rains today and tomorrow, and then we get some sun back on Friday and Saturday. So <sighs> we're just gonna have to hang out here as much as we can. I might have to have her nap somewhere in here if that's even remotely possible. I Please rummage. What? Did we not find anything? We found nothing in the truck. Guys, this episode might honestly just be like the episode with the absolute worst luck. Um, okay, we're gonna have to brave the thunderstorm because we need we we need some money. We need something. Um, let's empty the trash. Let's sort out the compostables and sort out the recyclables. We, we gotta get something going here. I I need to somehow get something to give her money so she at least can sleep in her tent again. I mean, I was all hopeful last episode because we had finally gotten some items and now we don't even have a tent to sleep in. And I wanted to invite Jack over to hang out, but we don't even have a tent and uh, it's pouring down rain. <laughs> so this is great. No, don't talk to this child. A burnt arm from the campfire. She has a sore throat. She's getting sick from the weather. She's uncomfortably wet from being out in the rain and she's got unpleasant surroundings. She hates it here because it's messy. She is embarrassed from a massive breakout. But somehow she's happy still because she's got more of the positive stuff. She's enjoying making materials. Um, she's got the free spirit trait. She loves the fresh air. So that's great. Um, okay, rummage. Please rummage. Okay, put this in your inventory and then we can- Please stop talking to this child! <laughs> she really desperately wants to talk to this kid. Alright, I'll just let her talk to this kid. Because this kid seems to like her. This kid seems to be her only friend. Riley! 
Yeah, this is this is tough, guys. I didn't expect this to be as tough as it was because I can't even get her on another job to make money. Um, <laughs> and I'm in desperate need of like a hundred more dollars. Oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh man, I am cursed. Did it just did it just eat her? What happened to her fabrication? <laughs> Oh, she can't seem to get anything fabricated. The skill is just... Okay, we're almost at level two. Come on, let's fabricate one more thing. We seem to have better luck with the candles. Oh, the machine just, like, ate her and spit her out. <laughs> Between, like, getting covered in dye earlier and now this, she's just having a rough day. Um, let me go ahead and get her another face mask, too. Finally! Okay, we reached level two. That's good. But now she's sick, so this is great. I really need her to spend some time with Jack. Oh man, did you just steal my trash, woman? Oh, we found a postcard. Well, that's cute. Okay. Actually, you know what? She's hungry. No. You know what we're gonna do? We are going to invite Jack out to the restaurant. We have a little bit of money. We don't have enough to pay to replace our tent. So let's take Jack out for dinner. And we're probably going to have to sleep at the maker station for tonight until we can make enough money to um, replace our tent. <sighs> Guys, I really didn't think this challenge was going to be quite this difficult at the beginning. Um, it has... This has been a struggle for poor Riley, <laughs> but maybe at least she can have a good night with Jack. Let's see. Where are you going, Jack? No, 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 no. You're not leaving. Come here. <laughs> Why is he running? <laughs> oh, have we scared him off, guys? I think we might have scared him off. That was a struggle just to get them seated at this restaurant, but I want a cute little picture of their little dinner date, even though Jack's not looking at her. That's fine. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and order for the table. Oh, he's cute. Okay. Um, let's see. Part of me wants to get them alcoholic beverages because it's so rough, but we don't really have the money for that. So, um... Let's see. I'm gonna get Jack a BLT. And for Riley, I'm gonna get her some French toast. Because last episode she wanted something kind of sweet. So let's get them some food. Some nice comfort food since it's all sad and depressing outside. Ooh, Riley just got flirty. Let's see. She, she watched a steamy stream again. My Sims and the steamy stream. Okay. She's very flirty though, because she's out to dinner. She's feeling flirty from her romantic trait. Irrational danger because she got screamed at by the paranoid guy. Oh, she's cute though. Look. Okay, this is cute. This is adorable. Oh, okay. Let's talk. Let's get to know each other, please. <laughs> I like that she's feeling flirty though. Oh. Oh, Riley says you really have a nice smile, Jack. I hope that you can smile more. Oh, she's trying to cheer him up. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, she's like really flirty and blushy. Oh. <sighs> I think they would make such a cute couple. I really, really hope. That they hit it off. <laughs> okay, she's learned that Jack is also a freaking. So that's great. Uh, her needs are pretty low. At least her social is in the green. <laughs> I want to like go in with a flirt, but I feel like it's too early. Let's see. Okay, so she knows now that he's freaking and family oriented and they have reached friend status. Okay, so I'd like to get them to be good friends. Okay, she has also learned that Jack is gloomy. So she knows three of his five traits. 
Oh, this would be so cute if these waiters weren't just standing right in my way. <laughs> oh, okay. Jack says, I love kids. I want a big family. That's really cute because that's definitely. Oh, I've never had woohoo. Riley. <laughs> and now she's very flirty. How did they get romance? Okay. They're getting some romance already. I wonder, pardon me wants to see what they autonomously do, but I'm afraid because you know how sims are and they'll like get up. Why is, no, get out of my conversation, please. <laughs> I'm going to let them just talk a little bit on their own without me controlling it and see what happens. But as soon as one of them gets up and leaves the table, I'm, I'm putting them back. <laughs> Surprised that I haven't gotten the, um like attraction thing for him because she thinks he's very attractive um let's see what moodlets does she have oh okay he complimented her i missed that happy and love from flirty compliment it feels good to make someone happy and especially someone i love okay riley i don't think you're in love yet okay i missed some kind of romance even though i was like paying attention Okay, what does she want to do? Tell a dirty joke. You know what? Let's tell a dirty joke. We'll see if he likes that. Okay, yeah, they're just like talking. Oh, she's talking about handcuffs. <laughs> okay, she seemed, he seemed to like that. She wants to hug someone. He's probably like, but you sound very sick. Oh. <laughs> Okay, he seemed to like the flirt and we got some romance right there. So that went pretty well. Okay. Well, I wasn't really expecting that to work, but it did. Okay, let's see. Let's just, let's tell him that we think he's attractive. Oh, he's like falling asleep. I don't think he feels too good. Okay, he seemed to like that. Wow, okay, they're building romance, like, really quickly. Don't watch another stream, please. We don't need you any more flirty than you already are. It's like two in the morning. Um, it is still raining. I'm gonna go ahead and have her give him, like, a hug. And then I'm gonna have them kind of, like, end the night. Give Jack a hug, good night. And then let's, let's get our butts... Uh, home. Oh, okay. That was cute. <laughs> I'll just let them talk like however much they want until they decide to end the discussion. <laughs> oh, she just became good friends with him. Oh, okay. So now they're good friends. They have a little bit of romance. She's just over here sneezing. <laughs> Dude, you are too much. Please. <laughs> He's making Riley freak out. Okay. I need him to, like, leave us alone. I was going to send her home, but they just sat down and decided to talk. So I'm going to let them do their thing until one of them inevitably walks away, and then we'll put her to bed. <laughs> She's telling an engaging story. Okay, so they're just talking on their own. Like, I was gonna put her to, like, have her go use the bathroom. Stop trying to watch a stream. Um. Wow. Okay, what does she want to do? <gasps> Guys, she wants to have her first kiss with Jack. Oh. Should we do it? Okay, okay. Um, it's still raining. Okay, can, maybe I can have them go here together. Okay, we're gonna make this cute. All right, come on, let's go make it cute, guys. Let's go there together. Hot dinner date from requesting a table at a restaurant, feeling flirty, happy in love, steamy stream. I'm dating from going on a date. It was nice to go on a date even if it wasn't for, this wasn't even a date. Okay, so she registered it as a date. That is really cute. Okay, I definitely think that they're meant to be. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. 
Okay, I just have to get- I'm sorry guys, I have to get some screenshots because it's just- it's too cute. Okay. I know I missed the little music, but... Oh. Oh. Oh, it's in the rain, but it's so cute. I was not expecting to like have this happen for them so soon. <laughs> it just looks a little bit funky because uh, she's shorter than him. Oh. So she's like not quite reaching him, but that's okay. First kisses aren't always um, perfect, you know? Okay, I'm sorry. I just really like them. Oh, okay, that was cute. Now he's pretty flirty. Oh, and she's all sneezy. Okay, for all the bad luck that we were having this episode, as far as like the dumpster situation and everything, we finally have our first kiss with Jack. <gasps> oh, <gasps> look what they're doing. Oh, they just did that autonomously. That was so cute. Oh. <laughs> Oh no, guys, I love them. This is bad. I just, I get so attached to my Sims and their relationships. That was really cute. I don't know. I was gonna, I keep trying to like call it a night, but they keep autonomously talking to each other or like going and sitting down together. So, so we paid our bill. She's gonna go to the bathroom. I think Jack's probably gonna go back to his lot. Um, if our tent was okay, I would honestly invite him to go stay the night so that he could, like, have a place to sleep. But we don't even have a place to sleep at the moment. So I'm gonna have her go to the bathroom and then we're gonna try to dumpster dive to see if we can get enough money to at least fix our tent. But I think Jack did leave because otherwise they could woohoo in the dumpster for fun. <laughs> I know that's gross, but they could have done that because uh, her fun is like really low, but let's dive for some deals. Oh, Jack's just on his way home. Look how happy he looks, guys. He's on his way home. He looks like he is just love struck from that date. That is really cute. That like went really well. I feel like they definitely are getting along. At first I was like, maybe I'm forcing it, but after seeing those interactions and them just continuing to autonomously talk and flirt. I'm here for that. <laughs> I love that like I didn't even take them on a date but she registered it as a hot dinner date. That is so cute. <laughs> Look at that smile. Guys, she's such a cute sim. I really- I'm having so much fun playing this challenge and playing with her. So this is the life. I wonder if like I'm still gonna be having her do this <laughs> even when we have our house. Probably will. It's just a Riley thing to do now. Um. <laughs> Except now she's filthy. At least we have a shower at home. We also gained a lifestyle. We unlocked the technophobe lifestyle. Okay, so she's gonna be tense every time she's around technology. That is just great. I hate to do it, guys. I hate to do it. <laughs> this dining table would have been so perfect for her house. It was like the one nice thing she found, but we really need the money so i'm selling it for fifteen hundred dollars because we have really not had some good luck so uh now she's got a tent that she can finally sleep in i think we're gonna go ahead and wrap this episode up here um it's not quite what i intended to do for this episode i was hoping to have gotten a little bit further um as far as progress with her skills i mean we got her fabrication up to it too um, we'll do a little bit more grinding next episode. Just the tent getting struck by lightning was really rough for us. But the one positive that happened. So yes, she's getting sick. Yes, the tent got struck by lightning and we had nowhere to sleep. Um, yes, she started out with a stomach bug and then a burnt arm. Um, and then a huge massive acne breakout. And the fabricator dyed her uh, different colors. And the fabricator also tried to eat her. But it's okay because her and Jack are now lovebirds um, and they were good friends. I don't know why that's not showing in relationship too. Maybe it'll only show me the romance, um, but their like friendship level and their uh, romance level is good. The sentiments have faded their first impressions, um, but they have built a very strong connection. She's learned almost all of his traits um, and he seemed very happy. She seemed very happy and they were 
autonomously chatting and talking. I mean, I controlled a lot of interactions, but they also kept chatting on their own. And Jack actually made the first flirt or compliment. It was something that I missed, but he actually made the first sort of move. Um, and then Riley had that desire to want to Oh no, she's free. Oh my God. Oh no, 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 no. Oh crap. Cause I had her take a cold shower. Oh my God. Get in the tent. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, as if that wasn't like the perfect, I'm like, again, I cannot finish my intro or outro without some chaos happening. And Riley starts freezing to death because I forgot I made her take a cold shower so she wouldn't be as flirty. Okay, well, it's a, it's a good place to wrap it up. Um, <laughs> this is a very chaotic series, but thank you all for sticking with me. Um, if you enjoyed this video, um, if you would like to see more content like this, please give me a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment below letting me know, and subscribe to my channel to see more of Riley and her adventures, as well as my other Let's Plays and Create a Sim videos. Um, so with that, I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!